Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Dirty Days Garage. Today we're going to be uh, straightening up the steering wheel on the TJ. If you can see, it's pretty crooked. I got my wheels turned a little bit, but I put a lift kit on when I did it, and I put a new steering stabilizer on, so it whacked everything out. So what I'm going to try to do so you guys can see, because you really need two people to do this. You need somebody to tell you when the steering wheel's straight while you're underneath turning the uh, track bar or the you know part of the steering linkage that I'm going to show you in a minute so but what I'm going to do I'm going to put a little Bluetooth camera that I have I'll show you this thing it was really cheap I got it off of eBay uh, or not eBay Amazon I'll put a link to it if I can find it down below uh, but this thing is rechargeable you just charge it up I use it for my enclosed trailer when I'm hauling my motorcycle and I put an extended battery on it, but I can mount it in the trailer and connect to it via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and uh, keep an eye on what's going on in my trailer, making sure my bike's nice and tight and nothing's moving around. They come in handy. Uh, it, it's Bluetooth or Wi-Fi compatible. So we're gonna, the only thing I'm worried about is how am I gonna get it to uh, point at the steering wheel because it doesn't really have a place to put it on a tripod or anything. So I'm kind of gonna just have to shove it down in the seat and. Hopefully it'll it'll point up enough where it'll show me when I get the steering wheel straight from down below without having to keep jumping up and looking. But uh, it wasn't that expensive, and uh, it's a cone, K-O-N-E, I think, camera they call it, cone cam or something. But like I said, I'll put a link in the description if this is something that might come in handy, but it helps to have an extra set of eyes sometimes. So let me get situated and get everything set up, and then we'll be back to show you how to straighten your steering wheel out. Okay, so as you can see here on my my little iPhone, I got my little camera running. I can see my steering wheel now from down below. Once I get under here, what you're going to need, two wrenches. You need a pipe wrench and a, a 15 mil ratchet or whatever to loosen up get down here on your steering linkage, these two bolts. And then we're going to use the pipe wrench here to uh, spin this thing and watch our phone to see which way it's turning the wheel until we get it turned in the right direction and, and get it straight. So I'm gonna get myself situated. My phone battery's about to die, so I'm gonna go get a, um, a charger to plug that in so I can keep an eye on the camera while I'm doing this and get it to where I need it. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, we're under the Jeep. I've gone ahead and loosened those two, nut, those two bolts right here on the steering linkage. This is right connected to the pitman arm going up to the steering box. So loosen these two bolts on this bar and I'm gonna take the pipe wrench right here in the middle and turn it, but I'm gonna point the camera at my iPhone so you guys can hopefully see the steering wheel and uh, and turn that light away and make it a little easier for you guys to see. While I'm turning the um, pipe wrench, it sh you should see my steering wheel moving. So bear with me a moment. Got to get the pipe wrench adjusted to where we need it. You might even be able to turn it by hand. I'm just used to doing this. Oh, that's the wrong way. We want to go that way. And I'm turning it by hand so far. I think I'm turning it the right way. I'll get up and check it once it looks almost straight. Actually, that looks pretty close right there. So, well, maybe a little bit more. The problem with that is it's putting me in a bad spot to tighten this thing back up. So let's go back the other way a little bit. It looks pretty good right there. I'm just going to jump in the deep real quick and see what she looks like from inside. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And now all that's left to do is tighten those bolts back up and your steering wheel straight again. Um, real quick, in case I forgot to mention, before you do this, 
get in the Jeep and turn the wheel till you know your front wheels are both pointing straight. I did that first. Can't remember if I mentioned that or not at the beginning of the video. But everything's straight now. Steering wheel straight, wheels are pointing forward. So now I'm gonna tighten those two bolts back up and that's it guys, you've adjusted your steering wheel and now you don't have a crooked steering wheel anymore. So I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe below and we'll see you next time on Dirty Dave's Garage.